The warning signs have been there for many years. Even executives spoke out about the biased liberal culture they have been promoting on the air and that will become their death spiral. Yet, they did not listen. So now, ESPN has just announced today that over 100 employees will be cut loose, including on-air personalities. And to be honest with you, this network I once enjoyed watching got exactly what they deserved. It is kind of funny, though, when one of their sports columnists puts out a tweet like this. If you are one of the dirtbags reveling in ESPN's layoffs, go to hell in a handbasket, you pathetic piece of garbage. Why do I think this is ironic? Well, because he is a football columnist, and what he does, he talks of coaches on the hot seat and at times calls for their firings. But when the situation is reversed, he doesn't seem none too happy about it, does he? I can proudly state the fact that I have not watched ESPN in over a year now. There was one Monday night football game that featured our embarrassing Detroit Lions that I had to watch. But instead of watching it in the comfort of my own home, I went to a bar instead so it would not show up in their ratings. My disgust with them began when they fired Kurt Schilling for stating in a tweet no less that he was a conservative. The next blow came with the Caitlyn Jenner fiasco when ESPN gave the Arthur Ashe Courage Award to Caitlyn Jenner over a double amputee Iraq war vet. That was totally ridiculous. And in just the last couple of weeks, they kicked off Sage Steele from television after she as well admitted to having conservative beliefs. Many recent high profile television personalities who are not even considered conservatives decided to leave the network. Among the more well-known ones are Mike Tirico, Bill Simmons, Colin Coward, Skip Bayless, and Jason Whitlock. Many experts say ESPN's business model is broken and beyond fixing. ESPN was once considered one of the greatest business structures ever, but will soon fall into oblivion as their ratings are down 16% this year alone. The good news to all this is Fox Sports Channel FS1 is doing fantastic and just last week according to Nielsen ratings topped the fabled ESPN Sports Center in viewership. The simple fact is liberalism and sports fans can never coexist.